discussion. I yeah. didn't say you get light off. Have Light's have, everywhere. Have you ever tried to get rid of light in the afternoon? It's impossible. <laughs> I don't. You don't have curtains unless outside. In, unless you're in North England. True. <laughs> we don't get the light in the first place. But here we are, the one and only light taking on Moncho, the villager, here on Pokemon Stadium 2, representing Puerto Rico, by the way. And already 10% lead. That's exactly what you want if you're Moncho. Mm -mm. It's not long until the big Puerto Rican major, actually, a platinum on the Smash World Tour. I think that's next month, right? Or maybe two I months away? I believe so. Uh, I, I think it's next month. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that on VGBC. And keep an eye out for Moncho, because clearly they can go hand-to-hand -hand with Light, and it doesn't go badly at all. A slight lead for the Puerto Rican player. Villager looking real nice right now. Looking fantastic, if you will. You are off stage, though, and you know this is where Light loves to shine. Getting up versus Light, so difficult. One Nair going to hit another Nair, but it's a trade, and they actually exchange plays with Moncho at stage control, but boy, was it short. Mm -mm. And now you do not want to be at ledge against Light, but Macho, all right, quite happy to be there, just jumping straight over. Light is going to catch those habits, and every ledge trap is going to be scarier than the last. So let's have another one. What's it going to be? It's going to be it's going to be a KO. You get two fake backers and an up smash to take the stock. Yeah, and good awareness by Light, knowing that Macho was going to want to go over top and having the up smash waiting. Intangibility on the on Fox's foot during the up smash, so you know there's nothing that uh, Macho could throw out, but we Ooh. have an axe, baby! Yeah, Fox is simply not built to stand up to that kind of punishment. Now Moncho actually could have extended off of that landing neutral air, but I don't think Moncho had the confidence it was actually going to hit. Light's usually going to shield that one. Double pocket to try and exploit the invincibility on the way back down. Yeah, it's a really underutilized tool that Villager has access to, and I love that Moncho is employing it. Yeah, like you're clearly not trying to pocket a Fox Blaster, but you are going to be pocketing an up smash, unfortunately. You need to pocket some of these stocks, okay? Because mm -hmm. you're giving them away right now to Light. All right, and reflecting as well. Like, that's such a common trick from Villager to put the side B out, then go for a grab or another forward air. You can't defend against everything. But when you've got a reflector, all of a sudden, the plan just shuts itself down a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, this this was starting off very well for Mancho. We knew it was very early. We were wondering how long it would last. But now Light's on the verge of a two stock, not even a 50% on this second stock. And I don't know if Mancho's ever getting back on stage. Yeah, managing to roll back in, but then put themselves back at ledge choosing to be in disadvantage. Light did not move whatsoever, and you are going to eat a sour spot up smash for that get-up attack, and in the end, the back air. It's always going to be a fake. Don't believe it when they say it's going to kill, but nevertheless, we might be following it up right now with something else. Yeah, and Light getting a little antsy. Granted, you have room to play with right now, but trying to force the kills. We're seeing it, and oh, it reaches. It reaches. Mm, Fox doesn't wear high heels, but apparently it still reaches. Yeah, sometimes I, that, that was just the perfect situation to get that sweet spot. It's usually not going to hit that hard on a top platform, but Villager just stood there and maybe thought, oh, I can at least survive one more, maybe. maybe I am afraid not. But a uh, stellar performance from Light as expected. Mancho looking solid, looking like it's doable. You know, if you reach really deep down into the bag of tricks, you might get a game. But it's, it's looking hard. It's looking hard. Yeah, so we're going to get it now. Back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Moncho essentially saying, I'm, I'm not going to take use of the stages because Light is always happy to be there. He's one of the quickest people in the world to just say, back to Stadium. And now we are getting Fox combos once again. I do not want to write Moncho off because Moncho is doing so well on stock one. But things are starting to spiral out of control here in game two. They, they, they are. They are. I mean, anything is possible. We saw the axe kill earlier from Mancho. You know, maybe that's something you can use. Maybe you can get Fox off stage and drop a bowling ball, but just right now, nothing oh. is going Mancho's way, and Light is making it look easy. Yeah, did you see that in the blast zone? Mancho actually tried to start a side B, thinking Fox back air never kills, so I'm just going to start my side B to recover. Unfortunately, if you're going to act too soon, you will lose your stock to that Fox back air, and now you are a full stock behind. Yeah, full stock behind, already lapped in oh, damage. Hello. You went low. There's a chance. And the you what? will die instead. Fox, he may have an exploitable recovery, but it's not short of distance. Moncho had not even considered the possibility that he was going to lose his stock as well, but that's an unfortunate one. And now you might be in that position again. I kind of like going out there right there. I think Light was going for hard read on the balloons. Because if you do pop the balloons, Villager does die, you know, does free fall. 
Uh, instead, the back air. That's a nice little one. It was unsafe. If that back air did not kill, you were eating an up smash or the start of a combo. But thankfully, Moncho finding the opportunity to, at the right moment, to stay competitive in this one. And it's enough encouragement to say, you know what? I may not have beaten Light, but if I can, if I can go this well, I'm thinking the loser's run is going to go real nice. But it isn't over. The back air was a fake. The up smash is not. That's going to be a 2-0 for Light, but very well played from Moncho to keep it alive. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. Um, I hate to say this is one of those games where you want to root a little bit for the underdog. You want to say, hey, it's possible. But this is Light that we're talking about. Mm -mm. Light, one of the best in the business. Uh, I think, what are they talking about? He's arguably a top three player right now. Yeah, yeah. You got him in top five no matter who you talk to. Exactly. And I'll debate you on it. Oh. He's certainly uh, pretty uncontested at this point for number one in the USA. Which is, it took a long time to get there. You know, Light was a great player in Smash 4, but always was kind of second to Larry Lur in the Fox point of view. Then things changed in Ultimate. Like, Larry wasn't really playing Fox at the time.